Hello study buds, it's me again, study bud Venice, waiting for you to come with me along this journey. On the last video, we talked about several types of functions. And now, let's dive into analyzing graph of functions. After watching this video, you will be able to describe the behavior of a function by analyzing its graph and sketch the graph of a function using transformation techniques. Get ready! Fasten your seat belts as we are about to advance to our new topic. The graph of a function is the set of all points x, y in the coordinate plane r squared, where x, y is an ordered pair of the function and satisfies the equation that defines the function. There are several features and properties of graphs of functions that will be helpful in describing its behavior. We have the domain and range, vertical line test, zeros of function, increasing and decreasing functions, relative maximum and minimum, and lastly, symmetry. What is domain and what is range? We already tackled domain and range on the last video. It says there that the domain and range of a function are what covers all the possible values found in the function. The domain is the collection of inputs x, while the range is the collection of outputs y or f of x. As an example, let's have the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. Seeing the arrows on both ends means that the graph continues endlessly on the right and on the left. This means that the graph covers the whole x-axis, or in other words, it covers all x-coordinates. From this, we can conclude that the domain is R. For the range, we can see that the graph has a vertex on point 0, 0, and it continues upwards. This means that it covers the part of y-axis from 0 and up only. Therefore, the range will be y is the set of all possible values of r such that y is greater than or equal to 0. What is vertical line test? Vertical line test was also mentioned in the last picture but as a review, it is a test used to know if a graph represents a function or not. A graph is a function if and only if no vertical line intersects the graph at more than one point. Let's have an example. In this, all vertical lines intersect the graph at only one point. Therefore, it represents a function. In this case, the function is a linear function. However, in this example, we can see that a vertical line intersects the graph at three points, which means that this graph does not represent a function. What are the zeros of a function? The zeros of a function are the x values for which f of x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0. They are also called x-intercepts, which are the points that cross the x-axis. For example, this is the graph of f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. If f of x is equal to 0 or if y is equal to 0, the x values are negative 2 and negative 1 based on the graph. This means that the zeros of f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2 are negative 2 and negative 1. In addition, the graph crosses the x-axis at points negative 2, 0 and negative 1, 0. What are increasing and decreasing functions? Increasing function. A function is increasing at an interval if for all x sub 1 and x sub 2 when x sub 1 is less than x sub 2. So f of x sub 1 is less than f of x sub 2. The graph of an increasing interval rises from left to right. A decreasing function. A function is decreasing at an interval if for all x sub 1 and x sub 2 when x sub 1 is greater than x sub 2 f of x sub 1 is greater than f of x sub 2. The graph of a decreasing interval drops from left to right. Constant function. A function is constant at an interval if for all x sub 1 and x sub 2, f of x sub 1 is equal to f of x sub 2. The graph of a constant interval is a horizontal line at that interval. 
it does not rise up and it does not goes down either. To have a better understanding, let's have this graph sample. Why is on the graph are the three points labeled as A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3? As you can see from the leftmost part of the graph, the point A sub 1, the graph rises up. This means that in the interval from the left side to point A sub 1, the function is increasing. From point A sub 1 to point A sub 2, the graph drops down. Therefore, at interval point A sub 1 to point A sub 2, the function is decreasing. As for the interval from point A sub 2 to A sub 3, the graph goes up which means that at that interval, the function is increasing. In the case of the interval from point A sub 3 to the rightmost part of the graph, the graph does not rise up and it does not go down either. It maintains a horizontal line which means that at this interval, the function is constant. What is relative maximum and what is relative minimum? Relative maximum. The relative maximum is a point where the function changes direction from increasing to decreasing. It is the peak of an interval in a graph. Relative minimum. The relative minimum is the opposite of relative maximum. It is a point where the function changes direction from decreasing to increasing. It is also the peak of an interval in a graph. Consider this graph of function with four points labeled as a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Take a look at points a sub 1 and a sub 3. On the left of these points, the graph rises up. On the right of these points, the graph drops down. This means that the function changes direction from increasing to decreasing as it reaches points a sub 1 and a sub 3. Therefore, points a sub 1 and a sub 3 are the relative maxima. On the other hand, points a sub 2 and a sub 4 are the points where the function changes direction from decreasing to increasing based on the graph. From what we conclude, points a sub 2 and a sub 4 are the relative minima. What are symmetries? A symmetry is the quality of certain graphs that have exactly similar parts facing each other along an axis or the origin. Y-axis symmetry A graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis if a point AB is on the graph together with point negative AB. The graph mirrors along the y-axis. If substituting the variable x with negative x yields the same equation, then the graph has y-axis symmetry. X-axis symmetry A graph is symmetric with respect to the x-axis if point AB is on the graph together with point A, negative B. The graph mirrors along the x-axis. If substituting the variable y with negative y yields the same equation, then the graph has x-axis symmetry. Origin symmetry. A graph is symmetric with respect to the origin if point AB is on the graph together with point negative A, negative B. The graph mirrors with respect to the origin. If simultaneously substituting the variable x with negative x and the variable y with negative y yields to the same equation, then the graph has origin symmetry. Take note that a graph may have no symmetry, one symmetry, or all the three symmetries mentioned. It is impossible for a graph to have exactly two of the three given symmetries. It is because if a graph has two symmetries, automatically it also has the third symmetry. What are even and add functions? Even function. If the graph of a function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, the function is an even function. Add function. If the graph of a function is symmetric with respect to the origin, the function is an add function. What are graph transformations? Certain functions are just the development of a basic function. 
One easy way of graphing this function is using different techniques collectively known as graph transformations. The transformations considered here are shifting, stretching and compression, and reflections about x-axis and y-axis. Vertical shifting. If a positive real number k is added to the right side of y is equal to f of x, the graph of the new function is y is equal to f of x plus k is the same as the graph of y is equal to f of x shifted k units upward. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2. Solution, in f of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2. Positive real number 2 is added to the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Therefore, by vertical shifting, the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2 is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x shifted 2 units upward. If a positive real number k is subtracted from the right side of y is equal to f of x, the graph of the new function y is equal to f of x minus k is the same as the graph of y is equal to f of x shifted k units downward. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2. Solution, in f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2, positive real number 2 is subtracted from the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Therefore, by vertical shifting, the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2 is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x shifted 2 units downward. Horizontal shifting. If a positive real number h is subtracted from variable x in y is equal to f of x, the graph of the new function y is equal to f of x minus h is the same as the graph of y is equal to the f of x shifted h units to the right. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2. Solution, in f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2, Positive real number 2 is subtracted from variable x in f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus 2 is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x shifted 2 units to the right. If a positive real number h is added to the variable x in y is equal to f of x, the graph of the new function y is equal to f of x plus h is the same as the graph of y is equal to f of x shifted h units to the left. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2. Solution, in f of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2, positive real number 2 is added to the variable x in f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2 is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to the absolute value of x shifted 2 units to the left. Vertical stretching and compression. When the right side of y is equal to f of x is multiplied by a positive real number a and a is greater than 1, the graph of the new function y is equal to a times the f of x is the graph of y is equal to f of x vertically stretch with 
by a factor of a. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 2x squared. Solution, in f of x is equal to 2x squared, the function f of x is equal to x squared is multiplied by positive real number 2 and 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to 2x squared is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to x squared vertically stretched by a factor of 2. When the right side of is multiplied by a positive real number a and a is greater than 0 and less than 1, the graph of the new function is the graph of y is equal to f of x vertically compressed by a factor of 1 divided by a. Sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half x squared. Solution. In f of x is equal to 1 half x squared, the function f of x is equal to x squared is multiplied by a positive real number 1 half and 1 half is between 0 and 1. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half x squared is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to x squared vertically compressed by a factor of 2 since 1 over 1 half is equal to 2. Horizontal stretching and compression. When variable x in y is equal to f of x is multiplied by a positive real number a and a is greater than 1, the graph of the new function y is equal to f of ax is the graph of y is equal to f of x horizontally compressed by the factor of a. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 2x squared. Solution, when f of x is equal to 2x squared, variable x in f of x is equal to x squared is multiplied by positive real number 2 and 2 is greater than 1. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to 2x squared is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to x squared horizontally compressed by a factor of 2. When variable x in y is equal to f of x is multiplied by a positive real number a and a is greater than 0 and less than 1, the graph of the new function y is equal to f of ax is the graph of y is equal to f of x horizontally stretched by a factor of 1 divided by a. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half x squared. Solution, in f of x is equal to 1 half x squared, variable x in f of x is equal to x squared is multiplied by positive real number 1 half and 1 half is between 0 and 1. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to 1 half x squared is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to x squared horizontally stretched by a factor of 2 since 1 divided by 1 half is equal to 2. Reflection about a coordinate axis When the right side of y is equal to f of x, is multiplied by negative 1, the graph of the new function y is equal to negative f of x is the reflection along the x-axis of the graph of y is equal to f of x. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to negative x squared. Solution, in f of x is equal to negative x squared, the function f of x is equal to x squared is multiplied by negative 1. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to negative x squared is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to x squared reflected along the x-axis. When variable x in y is equal to f of x is multiplied by negative 1, the graph of the new function y is equal to f of negative x is the reflection along the y-axis of the graph of y is equal to f of x. Example, sketch the graph of f of x is equal to quantity negative x plus 1 quantity squared. Solution, 
in f of x is equal to quantity negative x plus 1 quantity squared, the variable x in f of x is equal to quantity x plus 1 quantity squared is multiplied by negative 1. Therefore, the graph of f of x is equal to quantity negative x plus 1 quantity squared is the same as the graph of f of x is equal to quantity x plus 1 quantity squared reflected along the y-axis. That's all about graphs and inverse of functions. So, can you remember all of that? Let's have a recap of the points we've discussed. Domain and range are the collection of inputs of x and y, respectively. Vertical line test states that a graph is a function if vertical lines intersect it no more than once. Zeros of function are values of x when y is equal to zero. An interval is increasing if y increases as x increases at that interval. An interval is decreasing if y decreases as x increases at that interval. An interval is constant if value of y remains the same at that interval. Relative maximum is the point where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing. Relative minima is the point where the graph changes from decreasing to increasing. Symmetry is the reflection of the graph along an axis or the origin. Even function is a function with y-axis symmetry. Add function is a function with origin symmetry. Graph transformations are different techniques used in sketching graphs of functions. That's all for today's study buds. We hope that you enjoyed and of course learned something from us. Till our next trip to the study world! See you next time!